Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wise 4E channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Star Sister Wise Robin Brown is compared to Cruella de Vil and King Henry Vuillier's other woman, Anne Boleyn, but she always put on a front of concern for the other wives. Her admirers haven't believed her for years. Her feigned kindness appears more fake than genuine, and she has a history of coming across as a liar. With an ocean of crocodile tears, she would gladly have forced Cody into monogamy. Robin got closer to what always seemed to be her end goal in Sister Wives, season 18, getting Cody all to herself. One could contend that he is not a prize. Because of his weak ego, outdated views on patriarchy, and conflicts with his closest friends and family, Cody may be rather irrational. Robin is such a passive-aggressive person, Cody might be the perfect fit for her. She can get the better of him with absolutely no effort at all. She just needs to bat her eyelashes, squeeze out the previously mentioned tears, or say something seemingly innocent but quietly sarcastic about another wife. Everyone is aware that Robin can't post anything online without facing backlash. But now is the perfect moment to include a tribute to Garrison and Janelle on Instagram. It's not a good idea to hide behind Cody. Robin and Cody are currently the subject of internet trolling. Certain supporters make strong insinuations that they are to blame for Garrison's demise. Robin has to turn off the comments, address the shade, and share her memories of Garrison. Check out the video above for some of his cutest moments. This is really nasty. She may not truly care about Janelle's suffering, but it appears that way because of her inaction. Robin uses subdued animosity as her tactic. She doesn't make snap decisions. To keep her hands clean, Robin is all about avoiding direct confrontation. She can achieve her goals in different ways. Fans of Sister Wives are constantly fascinated by what she does behind the scenes. They appear to visualize Robin in the house she shares with Cody, describing to him, though not really explaining, the ideal version of their lives. Is Robin the velvet glove or the iron fist? Indeed, she does receive what she wants. Even with campier, more blatant sins, no tyrant or Disney villain could be more successful than this. Saying that Robin cares about Janelle would be appropriate. She was free to express herself without fear because comments were disabled. Although she would face criticism on other places, some fans could admire her for having the courage to voice their opinions. It's difficult to fathom the silence at the moment. There was friction with Christine Brown all the time. Christine was envious of Robin. Christine felt the green-eyed monster writhing inside her, pushing her in the direction of some awful behavior. Although Christine is now in a better position, she once left the room after learning that Cody had been showing Robin preference. Christine was unhappy, resentful, and felt duped by a younger wife. She found it quite difficult to restrain her feelings. The criticisms were severe, regardless of whether Cody was assisting Robin in choosing a wedding gown or secretly kissing Robin when Christine was giving birth. Christine and Robin were never truly friends, but Robin is not to blame for that. Christine didn't trust her adversary and wasn't interested in becoming friends. There was conflict among the sister wives, from Vegas to Flagstaff to the wilderness of Coyote Pass. It's unlikely that Robin cares about Christine now that they were at odds. People reports that David Woolley, Christine's new husband, referred to Cody as a... Thus, there's a very slim probability that David, Robin, Christine, and Cody will get together. There won't be get-together dinner parties or casual barbecues. This is completely burned earth when it comes to Christine and Robin. What about Mary Brown, then? Something about Mary seems different. She's more kind, gentler, maybe even more naive. Robin could be the most concerned about Mary out of all of them because she genuinely wanted to be her friend— but once more, Robin remains mute as Mary starts a new job as an owner of an internet platform. Robin pretended to be the devoted sister wife for many years. When something didn't work, she was the one who sobbed. She has now come out as a supporter of monogamy and is putting distance between herself and the women she claimed to love. 
she may not have ever loved them at all. She ought to express her love if she truly cares. The family is suffering, and Robin Brown of Sister Wives needs to discuss the deep feelings surrounding Garrison's passing. She ought to demonstrate to the world her concern for Cody's former partners and the state of their divided life. Is Mary Brown still selling the clothing line products that she pushed for years, even though Sister Wives fans were quite critical of her? Many TLC viewers believe she made a sizable profit from the venture. They are aware, nevertheless, that some people have difficulties following a downline. Star on TLC Mary Brown owned a large house with stocks of Lularo. Cody's first wife lived in a large home, while Janelle Brown lived in an RV and a little Flagstaff home. Leon, her only kid, had moved away years prior, so that looked unusual. She held a lot of stock for Lularo, though, so it turned out that she needed a large amount of room. Mary Brown acknowledged shifting her business as she discussed moving with Robin and Cody Brown. She was probably referring to her Lou Lauro stock. Fans of TLC, however, don't see her continuously promoting the NLM product line on social media. She also recently started a number of additional enterprises. Maybe she simply lacks the time to promote Lou Lauro. Fans of Sister Wives talk about the company. An inquiry on the NLM industry was made on Reddit on Thursday by a TLC fan. They stated in their caption, Does Lou Laro have a strong following? Does Mary continue to do this? Why on earth do people continue to purchase such unattractive goods? I wonder if she will eventually have to switch to another scam, worthy up, as this is gradually slowing down. In case you are unaware, Mary Brown recently launched her motivational platform, Worthy Up, and many of her sister wives' followers were taken aback by the high fees she demands for it. It became clear from the conversation that Cody's ex-wife still probably sells the goods and appears to be involved in employee training. Even a screenshot of the product's company page was posted by one of them. The following are a few of the observations. Indeed, Mary continues to market it. Her fans are probably the ones who purchase from her. I'm assuming that's how she initially became so successful with it. After leaving, Christine and Janelle, sick, proceeded to Plexus. The majority of the shirts cost about $40, the leggings of $25, and one style even cost more than $100. Though for a while I wore nothing but it, I was never a retailer. It was comfortable, I put on a lot of weight, and I didn't have to go to a store and try a lot of things on. What do you think about Mary Brown's continued partnership with Lula Rowe? Did you believe she was no longer involved with the company? Do you believe that the TLC star only does business with her current clientele because she is too busy with other projects? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below and return here for all Sister Wise news. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.